Unit 3, That's the Spirit. From My Country Tis of Thee. My country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. Samuel Francis Smith the big idea. How can you show your community spirit? Weekly concept, friendship. Essential question. How can you make new friends feel welcome? A helping hand. Moving to a new place can be intimidating. There are the challenges of going to a new school, making new friends, and learning your way around a new neighborhood. When people are welcoming, all these challenges become a little easier. What are some things that you can do to help people feel welcome? What would help you the most on your first day at a new school? Talk about it. Write words that describe how you would make somebody feel welcome. Then talk with a partner about what somebody has done for you to make you feel welcome. Vocabulary. Use the picture and the sentences to talk with a partner about each word. Acquaintance. Joe talked to his new acquaintance, Tony, hoping to get to know him better. Acquaintance. An acquaintance is someone you know but who is not a close friend. Acquaintance. An acquaintance is someone you know but who is not a close friend. Cautiously. Eric gently and cautiously touched the owl's feathers. Complimentary. Peanut butter and jelly taste good because they are complementary foods. Jumble. The jumble of masks and snorkels lay tangled together in the bottom of the boat. Jumble. A jumble is a confused mixture or condition. Jumble. A jumble is a confused mixture or condition. Logical. On a multiple choice test, the girl tried to figure out the most logical answers. Scornfully. The mother spoke scornfully to her son about his bad study habits. Scornfully. 
If you say or do something scornfully, you say it or do it in a way that shows dislike or that you are making fun. Scornfully. If you say or do something scornfully, you say it or do it in a way that shows dislike or that you are making fun. Scrounging. Tina saw the cat scrounging through the overflowing trash can. Trustworthy. When you are mountain climbing, it is good to have a trustworthy partner. Your turn. Pick three words. Write three questions for your partner to answer. Genre fantasy at the library. Essential question: How can you make new friends feel welcome? Read how a new librarian and an unlikely family become great friends. Rick Dodson admired the pink and orange sky as he waved goodbye to Mrs. Rio and locked the library door. As the sun began its descent behind the Blue Ridge Mountains, Rick started walking to his office to collect his jacket. Seeing a jumble of books on a reading table, he sighed and began to gather them into a neat pile. No, he stated firmly and returned the books to the table. Not tonight. The librarian never left any books out, but today was his birthday, which meant a brisk walk to the Cupcake Cafe for a birthday treat before it closed at 5:30 p.m. That evening, as he sat at home in his book-filled living room, Rick thought about the old friends who had called to wish him a happy birthday. If only this job had not required him to move halfway across the country. After six months here, he had made more than one new acquaintance, but no real friends yet. Books are my friends, he thought, which reminded him of the books sitting on the table at the library. I might as well go back tonight and shelve them, he decided. He entered the library and flicked on the lights. Immediately, he noticed a book, Small World, face down on the floor. What's going on? He muttered as he bent down and cautiously lifted up the book. Ah! He yelled and dropped the book. Four miniature figures scrambled out of the way as the book landed on the floor with a thud. Mister Dodson exclaimed a breathless voice. We are enchanted to make your acquaintance. What? Who? Rick stammered. We are the Bookers. I'm William. This is Emily, and our children, Harry and Clementine. By the way, happy birthday! You know it's my birthday. Naturally, we read your file when you arrived six months ago. It's only logical that we would want to learn about the new librarian. You were scrounging through my files, Rick said, collapsing into a nearby chair. He rubbed his eyes, but the tiny figures were still there, looking up at him expectantly. Suddenly, the nimble bookers began shimmying up the table. We are absolutely trustworthy, Emily assured him. Haven't you heard of bookers? William asked. Every library has bookers. 
We ensure everything runs smoothly," said Emily. "Seen any mice around? They love to gnaw on everything." Rick slowly shook his head. "I do nightly rodent patrols," Harry stated proudly. "Those mice run at the sight of me," he added scornfully. "Do your chairs ever squeak?" inquired Clementine. "No, that's because we oil them." Rick considered the past six months. He hadn't seen one mouse. His chairs never squeaked, and his pencils were never dull. The pencils? He asked. We sharpen them nightly, William replied. But why? Asked Rick. Look around! Exclaimed William. We work and read. Bookers and libraries are complementary. We belong together. To be honest, Mister Dodson said Emily, we wanted to meet you because we thought that we could be friends. Rick Dodson grinned. Call me Rick, and I'd love to be friends. He said. Rick eventually made other new friends, but he still spent many evenings with the bookers. He bought a toy car for Harry's rodent patrol, and he read scary stories aloud to Clementine. Every year on his birthday, he brought cupcakes for his friends to share with him. Make connections. Talk about how the Bookers made Rick Dodson feel welcome. How do you make new students in your school feel welcome? Visualize. When you read a story, picturing the plot, events, characters, and setting in your mind can add to your understanding and enjoyment. As you read the first paragraph of At the Library, visualize what is happening. Find text evidence. As I read the first paragraph on page one sixty-seven, I picture Rick Dodson in the library at the end of the day. The descriptive details help me visualize the sunset and Rick waving goodbye to Mrs. Rio. Rick Dodson admired the pink and orange sky as he waved goodbye to Mrs. Rio and locked the library door. As the sun began its descent behind the Blue Ridge Mountains, Rick started walking to his office to collect his jacket. Seeing a jumble of books on a reading table, he sighed and began to gather them into a neat pile. I can visualize Rick looking at the jumble of books on the table and starting to pick them up. I imagine him shaking his head when he decides to wait until the next day. Your turn. What are some other story events in at the library that you can visualize? As you read, remember to use the strategy visualize. Fantasy. The selection at the library is a fantasy. A fantasy includes invented characters and settings, has elements that could not exist in real life, often has illustrations. Find text evidence. At the library is a fantasy. The story takes place in a library, which is a realistic setting, but the illustrations show that the bookers are tiny people who would not exist in real life. Use illustrations. Illustrations give the reader visual clues about the story's characters, setting, and events. This illustration shows me what size the bookers are. Your turn. Find and list two specific examples in the text that let you know at the library is a fantasy. Context clues. As you read at the library, you may come across words you don't know. To figure out the meaning of an unfamiliar word, look for clues in nearby phrases and sentences. Find text evidence. When I reread the first paragraph on page one sixty-seven of At the Library, the phrases "pink and orange sky" and "behind the Blue Ridge Mountains" help me figure out what descent means. 
Rick Dodson admired the pink and orange sky as he waved goodbye to Mrs. Rio and locked the library door. As the sun began its descent behind the Blue Ridge Mountains, Rick started walking to his office to collect his jacket. Your turn. Use context clues to find the meanings of the following words in at the library. Write an example sentence for each word. Seven. Nah, page one sixty-eight. Rodent, page one sixty-eight. Write about the text. I responded to the prompt. Have William write a postcard to a family of bookers at another library. Have him tell about the new librarian, Rick Dodson. Use details from the story. Dear Lake Vista Library Bookers, we finally met our new librarian, Rick Dodson. We've been waiting so long to make his acquaintance. When he first met us, he had never heard of Booker's, but now we are good friends. He reads scary stories to Clementine, and he even bought Harry a new car for Rodent Patrol. Best of all, he shares cupcakes with us. We're so glad he came to our library. I think you would like him. Your friend, William Booker. Concrete words. I used precise language to describe a character's thoughts. Transitions. I organized the sequence of events with time order words. Grammar. Bought is an example of an action verb. Point of view. I wrote the letter in first person to show it is written from William's perspective. Your turn. Have Rick Dodson write a postcard to a friend describing his meeting with the Bookers. Include details from the story.